Okay, so this is the MakerBot Thingamatic. I've been working on putting this together for the past couple of weeks. And uh, what we've got here is um, we're near the final stages. Where we've got some wiring to do, we've got the electronics to put back into the uh, box. But uh, everything's kind of still opened up, so I want to kind of show off all of the major pieces and all of the things that it does. So, the way this is going to work is we've got this build platform down here. The build platform is where your model's going to be made. And you can see, kind of getting some scale off my hand, it's not exactly the, the biggest, most gigantic thing. We're going to be printing things that are, are three or four inches wide. So nothing, nothing really huge is going to come off of this, but the plastic that it uses, you're going to be able to uh, glue it together. Um, so you can make a lot of bigger things out of it. Uh, there are a lot of models that use pins and, and latches in order to hold them together. So there's a lot of flexibility here. So your model's going to get built here. This automated build platform is, is what we call also the X stage, because you see these rails here, it's going to move left and right. So when we're printing, this is going to be going back and forth. That's how it's going to put plastic here versus here or whatever when you're printing. It rests on a little belt back there. It's hard to see. It's a little dark. And underneath this box, again, hard to see, but down here underneath where it says left is the stepper motor. The stepper motor does precise uh, movements, so it will turn that belt just a tiny little bit. Um, this automated build platform, the little red thing here underneath, that is the heated platform. It keeps the plastic nice and warm. It has also a nice little clear plastic conveyor belt on top. What it's going to do after it's done printing, this conveyor belt will kick off. You can see the gears here. There's a motor underneath. It's going to just roll off whatever you printed and will drop out in front of your maker bot. That X stage rests on top of the Y stage, and that's where actually that stepper motor is. This wooden piece here is the Y stage. This is going to move back and forth inside of the container. And you can see actually here, there's the stepper motor and belt, so you actually can get a good view. The same sort of assembly is underneath here inside of our uh, Y stage for moving the X stage around. But we have a stepper motor there along with a pulley that's attached to the belt. It's going to pull this platform back and forth. You also will notice another set of rails going up. This is the Z stage up here. The Z stage has its own stepper motor up top, which is actually attached not to a belt, but to a screw. It's a little dark, a little hard to see. There you go. So that there is our screw. That is going to turn and it's going to move this platform up or down, depending. On the platform, we have this monstrosity here. This is our extruder. The extruder is going to take plastic in up here. A thread of plastic goes in. It's three millimeters wide. It's going to accept that here. This big stepper motor here, so big it needs its own fan to stay cool. Underneath this it has a little sprocket and it is going to pull that thread of plastic through and it is going to jam it into this metal tube. That metal tube is, um, it's got a, a filler in there that's a little bit narrower than our uh, plastic thread. So it's going to jam it into that plastic thread, and then down here, underneath all of this tape, is our actual heated element. It's got a, a heater cartridge that's going to get up to about 220 degrees centigrade, and it's going to melt that plastic. Stepper motor keeps shoving it through. It's going to come out of this little nozzle. It's uh, impossible for me to show you exactly how small that is. You just won't see it on camera. It drips out a very tiny little drip of plastic. That's going to allow it to... Uh, do some some incredibly fine printing uh, according to the site I mean we're, we're talking resolutions of microns or tens of microns depending on the direction all of this works in concert thanks to this guy over here this is the Arduino Mega 2650 that is the motherboard that drives everything you can see these blue connectors and black connectors here for the various motors and, and other elements that it has to manage. It has a card reader. You can actually um, print without a computer attached. You can just throw an SD card in here and run off a bunch of prints right from that SD card. 
over here, these things that look like Ethernet ports, which they're very specific on, uh, on the board itself. They are not Ethernet ports, but they certainly look like them. Um, those are going to be how it communicates with the other boards. Because you know, I'm saying this is the motherboard, it is the important part, but it is not the entirety. This little guy over here is also another Arduino, but um, this one is going to govern that whole extruder module that we have over here. This giant stepper motor, that heated element underneath, that is controlled by this piece. Uh, it's responsible for maintaining the temperature and all of that stuff. That governs everything else. That controls all of the movements of the machine. The last bit of electronics that we have, uh, this is the last bit of soldering I did, and if you look at the back, I'm a terrible solder. Um, I have to clean that up a little bit yet, but this uh, relay here acts as a switch, and it's going to be attached to a thermocouple that, uh, or a thermo th thermosistor actually, that is uh, already on the uh, heated uh, bits. Um, this will shut down the whole machine uh, if it gets too hot. So that's how we keep from burning the house down, which uh, I think all of us appreciate. So that is the Thingomatic. Um, it's a great kit. They really did a fantastic job with this. I've put about 10 hours, 16 hours of actual effort into it. Um, I could have definitely done it faster if I had more familiarity with these sorts of projects. But it's been a lot of fun and I've learned a lot about how it works. Um, I recommend, you know, if you don't mind spending, it's not cheap, but uh, if you don't mind spending the money, it is definitely worth it um, just for the experience of putting it together. I look forward to seeing uh, what I can print out off of it as well. So that is my 3D printer. Thank you very much for watching.